Hey guys, Havasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hoping you're having a great day so far. Hey, we're on our way to check out a pretty unique property in the residential estates area. It has a full-blown uh, guest house casita in the back with extra garages. Hang out with us and check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, guys, we're out here at 2330 Suchek Drive. This is a great location in the residential estates area. Super desirable location. Underground utilities, natural gas. All nice houses around. So you got a ton of side RV boat parking. It's all gated. It goes all the way back. This has like a detached casita and extra garages in the back too. Has this huge front courtyard wraparound porch. All right, guys, so this is a four bedroom, three bath all together, 2,697 square feet. The main house obviously is a three bedroom, two bath, and then there's a one, one casita out and back. So it's got a nice open floor plan with the rear kitchen, vaulted ceilings. So you have your kitchen double doors out to the patio area. They have nice cabinets, granite counters, gas stove, stainless appliances. All right, let's go check out the bedrooms. So I'm just going down the hallway. This is the first room you run into. They got it set up as an office. It's got crown molding, double door closet. Also has a double door entry, which is kind of cool. Okay, so the end of the hall is a laundry room and a man door out to the garage. That'll fold down ironing table. You don't see that very often. A little utility sink, washer and dryer hookups, natural gas water heater. All right, we'll check out the garage in a bit. Let's go see what's at the end of this hall here. All right, so you have your guest bathroom, real nice granite counters, granite tile shower. All right, you have bedroom number two, the rear of the hallway, also has crown molding, double door closet again. All right, so this is the master. So all, this has double doors as well with a door out to the backyard. So, you know, this house is set up real nice for a pool area. So I'm assuming somebody's going to put in a pool. That would get you out to the backyard. All the doors have the integrated blinds inside. It's actually funny. We actually tried to buy this house uh, about 15 years ago when it was a foreclosure. And unfortunately, we didn't get it. There was about 15 bids on it. So you have a nice walk-in closet with some built-ins. It's a nice size master. You have a nice master bath. Can lighting, big walk-in shower, jetted tub. So the only drawback is it only has one sink.
All right, let's go check out the uh, casita in the backyard. All right, so we just came out of the front door. I'm gonna go check out the rear house and garages. Very nice setup. All right, so you have the attached two-car garage. Uh, they didn't put any dimensions in the listing, but it's your standard. I walked it off at about 25, 28 feet deep. Looks like it has an older mini split unit that's not plugged in. Also have your whole house water filtration and um, soft water loop right there. All right, let's go check out the uh, backyard in the guest house. So there's just tons of room in this backyard. This is a huge 17,250 square foot residential estates lot. So there's a lot of value just in the lot itself. So when we were looking at this house, there was a couple big trees back here and this was the perfect spot to put a pool. You'd have to probably remove one of these walls to get some equipment in temporarily, uh, but it's a great little setup for a pool. So this back area, uh, I guess their daughter lives here and it's set up for a wheelchair access, but can all easily be removed. I believe there's its own um, power meter too, if I remember correctly. We'll have to take a look in a minute. Again, you have tons of uh, side parking, all paved, all the way back. Let's go see if they have that separate power going on. Obviously it has its own ACs. It's got its own little back patio. Yeah, so it has its own panel back here. So you could easily turn this into like a rental with their own access. Let's go check it out. So it would make a pretty cool vacation rental too. Even though it doesn't have a pool, you can sleep a lot of people and it'd probably be a pretty popular rental. So this is all double door as well. This is a full blown casita, has a little kitchen with a stove. So that's kind of an oddity. You don't really see the casitas with a stove. It's usually just a hot plate because of fire regulations. Little door out to the back patio. So again, this one is set up for wheelchair access. So all the cabinets are lowered and all the sinks are lowered, but can easily be turned back. Little closet. Nice cabinets. You got this little like master bath area. It's pretty big. It's got can lights, walk-in shower. All right, so this one has a detached three-car garage. Uh, again, there's no garage dimensions in the MLS, so there will be later, I'm told. It has a little, another little laundry area with the utility sink hookups all insulated it's got its own air conditioner in here so you can actually even turn this into livable square footage if you wanted to as it does have ac insulated garage doors fridge all right so you have the two-car garage right next to it also air conditioned Looks like there's two AC units for this place, one for the garage, one for the house. So you could turn one of these into like an owner garage and just lock it up and not give vacation renters the access. Would be a good idea. I'll get the uh, garage dimensions in the listing detail. So if you click the link right below this video, they will be there. Hey guys, Abbasulu back again with you. Hope you enjoyed the quick little video uh, walk through the house over here on Suchek Drive. Great location, would make a great uh, vacation rental or even a, a full-time uh, primary residence. You could even rent the back part out. Um, but anyways, pretty unique setup. I will put a direct link to the listing detail page right below this video so you can get the current price and availability and all that. If you guys have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is right below this video. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.